Alright, so I decided to pick up one of the worst gaming consoles ever in history, probably the worst, let alone worst handheld. Um, and that was because I had it as a kid, it was my first handheld, not because it's actually good or I'm going to play game, tons of games on it. I will probably play some games on it, but I'll probably get sick of them. Um, and that is... Yeah, I picked this thing up. If you know about it, it's a uh, it's uh, Tiger's attempt at a uh, handheld console. Other than their little crappy games that they had on the those like little cheap games they had, like those soccer games and all that, you get in like you know five and dimes and shit like that. And uh, you know, I just figured I'd pick it up because it's you know even though it's crap, it's part of my history. You know, it's something that you know, I had as a kid, and I wanted, uh, I thought I was really cool with this, because I had a handheld, it was like, you know, I couldn't get a Game Gear, but I got this, I actually got this for free, uh, my grandmother worked at Goodwill, and, uh, she actually had a boxed one, she got, it was all wrapped and everything, it was so bad, I guess they, they, uh, actually, uh, gave it to, uh, she, well, she used to get this stuff, she used to get a lot of stuff that we didn't, you know, we didn't want, and I don't know why she would do that, but she would just grab stuff all the time. <laughs> uh, but this is one of the things she got, and uh, I just had to have it. Uh, game uh, Classic Game Room did a review of this recently, and uh, yeah, it, it enticed me to get this because uh, basically, this has, even though this is such a shitty piece of crap, uh, it does have things in it that, you know, newer consoles, or newer handhelds just started to do, like, with the DS with the, uh, touchscreen. So, yeah, you get the touchscreen, and it has little things that are, uh, the equivalent of apps. Like, uh, you know, you get a calendar, or, uh, you know, so that's kind of cool. You get the calendar, you get a calculator. Uh, no, I don't want that. And um, it gets, it's got two cartridge ports for your you know unplayable games because the screen is such garbage that you can't even see what you're doing. And yeah, it takes six AA batteries. Um, the things the batteries are dying already. I've <laughs> I haven't even played a game. The batteries are already dying. Um, stop that. <laughs> I gotta charge the batteries more, I guess. But, uh, it also has internet, um, capabilities. And, uh, it doesn't anymore, but it did. It, you had to actually pay for it. And there was, like, this online score system thingy, so you can share your scores online. That was about really it in web browsing with no, you know, it was just text web browsing. And yeah, so that's really it. I'm missing the stylus. This is actually my 3DS stylus. But yeah, I figured I'd pick up this big fat piece of crap because, you know, for some reason I just wanted it and I had to have it. And uh, for, for shits and giggles, here's a size comparison between the Game Gear and the GameCom, which really the thickness is for the most part the only difference. The Game Gear is a lot thicker. GameCom is actually a little bit... Yeah, actually, there's uh, that much of a size difference between, you know, here and here. Uh, Height-wise, it's the same. Uh, yeah, so GameCom's smaller than Game Gear, but um, it's, uh, it's quite big. Um, I don't know that it... Yeah, definitely the Game Gear's heavier. GameCom's quite heavy. But yeah, it's cool that it had some of this stuff that they just recently started adding to uh, portables today. Uh, but yeah, the touch screen's not as good as like something new. Like there's these little dots on the screen and you can't, you have to touch it. It makes up little squares and you have to touch it between the squares or it won't respond. So yeah, but that's it. I got a few games in here and I will do a gameplay of it even if I don't think the games are the greatest. Um, there might be somebody out there who actually thinks this game, this uh, thing is good, but, you know, for them, I'll, I'll 
if, if they exist, I'll actually post some stuff of that. I mean, you can't even see what you're doing when you play games, unless they're puzzle games. Puzzle games work well on this because there's not much motion. But if there's motion on it, yeah, trust me, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, that's that's really it. That's the game com. I'll show you the box. And I'm going to put the commercial at, for this thing at the end of the video because it's really ridiculous. They tried to sell this thing by basically telling all their consumers. Let me just, I'll just lift this up. Telling all their consumers or their, you know, their customers and everything that they are uh, morons and uh, they have no brain cells and, you know, they had a, some guy trying to sell it. It's a midget, an angry midget is trying to sell it by telling people they have no brain cells in their head and they're, they, all they do is play video games all day and all this crazy shit. And then at the end of the commercial, the, uh, the, um, the, the, the little kids or customers uh, chase the midget down to beat the shit out of him. So I'll show you that right now. Tough guy. Good help here. Hello? Hello? I have a surprise for all the slackers, but nothing better to do than play games and surf the net all day. Bring those bloodshot eyes on these babies! It's Beaks! Let's rock. Thanks to be touched! Wires you to the internet! And it plays more games than you idiots have brain cells! Any questions? And then play! The ultimate portable gaming system.